Welcome back everybody. I'm here with some more Digimon Real Rise and today I got a PvP analysis for you guys. Uh, last week was Brave Week. This week's Calm Week. Um, for Brave Week, I feel like it's so much hard. It's so much harder to get 28 points just because so many Digimons are boosted. So no matter how much reduction, how much defense you put up, sometimes like one good crit from Omega Mon is, is enough. Another thing that I like to point out is that level Awakened 105 Omega Mons, like they do a lot of damage and they tank for a while. Like that, that's pretty good. I, I would almost recommend doing it. Actually, going ahead and doing it. I'm still, I, I'm hesitant, honestly, but I might do it in the future. Um, but it, it is something to consider. Uh, depending on how I, I guess the next couple weeks go, I might consider doing it. But this week, uh, this is the team I'm using. Um, yeah, I, I was running low in gems back then. Uh, just because I, I did summon all the banners, basically. Uh, lucky enough, I got, you know, most of them. And so far, this this team, since reset, I think I've only gotten 324 points. It's been, like, super consistent. It's been, like, pretty good. Um, these Digimons, the ones that give HP, are really good. This one gives HP, and it gives block, so that's pretty good. Um, but stuff like Justice Mon, if you have a pretty good... Uh, death team like it'll help you survive uh, So far I haven't encountered a team that's faster than my old force uh, luckily hope I don't encounter one all this week, but Usually this works uh, because they're boosted. They do a little bit more damage um, This one prevents me from getting credit or skill locked, which is pretty good uh, The weakness is a gallant mom, but I haven't seen much gallant mons and when I do see a gallant mon uh, it doesn't last long. It dies easy with all force or and then my second attack with um, Dynasmon and Dynasmon does a pretty good job this week like it shines very well um, This guy I actually want to switch out a uh, Grand Quagamon just to test it out um, But at the same time I don't because it's just been so consistent like I don't even want to test other things out like I, I feel pretty good getting like 28 points all the time um, last week, uh, last week I switched my team, the Brave team. It was kind of everywhere. I just kind of like, as long as I got the win, I think I got top a thousand. I was, I, I was really lazy last week. Not only that, I was kind of juggling the other account. So I was kind of trying to make the account in a stable place. Um, so that's why I kind of didn't spend much time, like, focused on this account, um, during PvP. Especially I was like, cause look, if you have a Gallant Mon, you get that 30% attack increase, and he, this guy d doubles the damage, right? Doubles the damage when it crits, and not only that, it's 30% boosted from personality week, so it was too much boost. Like, you know, it's kind of hard to make a team that's going to tank and survive, even if you have Blackboard Greymon, even if you have this guy, so it's just, you just got to ride out Brave Week. It is an easier week for most, I believe, just because you managed to get the win. What I'm talking about is man managing to get consistent 28 points. I thought it was hard. Uh, maybe with resets, like, it's possible, but uh, no. I'm not going to deal with, like, Omega Mon doing crazy damage like that. So there's that. But this week, uh, counter to this team, again, it's a faster all force. So if you guys encounter, like, let's say my team, um, I would almost wreck a speed. Right now, kind of speed is the big deal. Um... Just because you want to be faster than their old force and wipe out their buffs, you'll take away their crit because this gets taken away easily. You'll take away, you know, them going first. Um, there's that. And the one that gets really hurt by this most than all by getting hit by an old force is Imperial Drummond. I hit a couple Imperial Drummonds and they, they go down easily. Uh, the thing is that it, it's its own def defense increase. Is only for one turn for itself, so that's why I thought maybe I should consider using Grand Quagamon. But like I said, it, it I've been okay, honestly. How this so far, you know, since reset, so I don't really feel like switching it around. Um, unless I start seeing like all forces that are faster, then I might switch to Grand Quagamon just because, like, you know, it'll be more stable in a sense. Um, but yeah, definitely, if you guys have like a Lilithmon, that could help. Or something that's a deaf Digimon that's pretty fast. Um, I know that a lot of people like using the the dog, the jet dog. 
Um, he's pretty fast too. I didn't get him. Oh, I do have him actually. I haven't leveled him up, but you know that's another popular choice for speed. I would recommend being the if you guys have all fours, being faster. Uh, that's my recommendation. And if you're gonna have Digimons that are gonna give a boost, Grand Quagamon's pretty good. Uh, Digimons that give HP are pretty good, um, especially against all all fours. You know it's it's a yikes. Um, if you guys have Omega Mon, doing a level 105 Omega Mon is a good choice. It's countering against this. Um, just because that will do a lot of damage. So there's that. I think those are the possible counters to this week's team. I know if you guys have Kensentaromon, that also gives evade. I don't recommend Crusadermon even this week because, like, one, it's, they're going to be really boosted. And Crusadermon doesn't have much defenses besides its evade. Um... And that could easily be taken away. Like, let's say your opponent activates a Crusader Mon. Uh, I'm going against a Crusader Mon, for example. And it activates the Evade for all allies. But bam, it hits a Dynasmon, which Dynasmon's all around right now because it's the newest Digimon. Um, and it's a really good Digimon to have. Now it counters. Um, another thing I do recommend is if you guys have a Dynasmon, Pursuit seems to be really good because whenever I Pursuit, I either take away their Dynasmon um what is it called their evade or i take away their limit from omega mon so pursuit's seeming pretty good right now um it allows me to do an extra attack so i'd rather have that than a counter on him um because it now it has more chances to keep attacking um so that's why i have him like that uh let's dive into trends let's just kind of see what was popular and what was not uh, Gallimon, yeah, Gallimon obviously is like one of the best combos with Alphamon to use. Blackmore Greymon is popular, but with Gallimon, like, it takes away its buff. But also, it, it kind of forces you to use Gallimon's attack first. So there's that. Um, I do like Blackmore Greymon, but as much as I like Blackmore Greymon, I still fall the same, I still think the same way about Imperial Jomon. Like, their weakness is that removal buff. So if there's a Digimon that removes the buff better... It's going to hurt. Um, there's that. Uh, I do like the permanent ones like Grand Quagamon. I, de I definitely recommend buffing up your Grand Quagamon if you guys still haven't. Uh, even if you guys have Imperial Jamon Fighter Mode. Uh, try out Grand Quagamon. That's my own opinion. Uh, Magna Jamon. If, if you buff him up, I recommend like, you know, level limit breaking him a little bit. Uh, maybe 100, 105. Uh, don't go too deep for him. Rusty Tyrannomon, I still haven't had a chance to try him out. But he's basically the same as Black War Greymon, but Black War Greymon kind of fits the role a little bit better right now just because, you know, Calm gets boosted or, you know, Calm and Brave are both meta. Uh, these are a bunch of Digimons that are going to be used. Um, what was I going to mention? There was something. Ben and Myotismon, there you go. I feel like that was really MVP to going against. Like, not that it helped me, but like, I have one, but I need to level it up. The problem, the thing that's so good about him is that he nullifies skill lock effects, and that helped deal with against me. Like, whenever I tried skill locking an opponent, and I got ended up getting like 24 points, is because they had a Venom My Otis Mon. So, it does add at that extra defense. I do recommend them if you guys have them. I'm not sure how tank or well, he's supposed to be like last, but um, he's a pretty good option though, just because of that skill lock. Uh, it protects you if you guys don't have Black War Greymon. In the last two turns, same as Black War Greymon, but if you guys don't have Black War Greymon, I recommend this guy because I it was annoying not being able to skill lock my opponents. So there's that. Um, any random Digimon, Beelzemon, I don't even recommend. But for Calm Week, yeah, this dog. The Jet Dog's pretty good. He's pretty fast. Um, he hurts Brave, so there's that. The thing is that to better take advantage of him, you need to have him um, level 10. And I don't recommend him level 10, you know. I uh, hope you guys pulled out multiple copies if you guys summoned. But there's this guy too. Um, he allows you to deal damage to death, but he lets you reset. I feel like these re cooldown timer effects are not as great in what's his name pvp uh i feel like even the uh, leomon like 50 percent like the battle's probably over by then you know um 
or someone you know died or i don't know leoman died and, and then it risked you the it costed you the 28 points but yeah you know black war Greymon, i'm not even sure i recommend but he's there because need him because taro um i don't have i wish i had uh to do more shenanigans with them but Kenzen Taro is actually kind of similar to this guy, but Kenzen Taro kind of prevents what's his name statuses, and that's why I kind of want to get statuses. Not only that, increase your counter rate, which is pretty good. Uh, and it's passive instead of using Black War Greymon's main. I never use Black War Greymon's main. Don't even bother with it. Dynas Monk could counter good on its own, especially if you guys have a plugin. Definitely get the package if you guys summon for Dynas Mon. It's a huge recommendation. If you guys haven't summoned for Dynasmon, summon for Dynasmon. It's pretty worth it. Um, there's that. And I've noticed that I think rank 1 is using him. No, rank 2 now. <laughs> there's that. So if new players, I guess you could try to do that. Just use Dynasmon and he'll counter and do a lot of damage if you guys have plugins and stuff. So there's that. Um, I like to mention. Oh damn, he got pretty good ahead. But let's try in a match. Let's go check this team out. All right, we're going against Jordan. And this seems pretty fair, I guess. Level hundreds. None of mines are leveled. Oops. All right, let's see. Let's just put up some resistance. I always put up resistance just because I feel like Omega Man always ends up attacking, you know? But there's that. And then he's going to put up defense and it's going to be longer match. I feel like that stun also has come in handy, but he has a... What is it called? That guy, the one that just attacked. Alpha Man. Yikes. Okay, let's see. And surprisingly... Yeah, surprisingly, my all fours survives. It's pretty good. Um, my all fours doesn't die just because it has like that power resistance, anti crit, more HP. So, and on top of that, his plugins are HP. So he has high as HP right now. Um, I feel like this is the only time. I like I'm always so against all fours. Even during calm week, I kind of like don't like him as much. But he's pretty. He's been pretty good, honestly. Um, with this kind of setup. He, he survives, and I haven't seen all four survive like that since he got released. Even then, like, he was still kind of paperish. But at least back then, you nuked your opponent before it could even get touched. So that was that with it. All right, guys. I added a cut. Um, I switched. I, wait, I wanted the orb to reset, and I switched to Grand Quagamon uh, just to try him out, just to try something different. Um, and kind of let's go in and see if, because the thing about the other guy is that he offers a 30% power resistance. This guy offers 20% more defense. So I kind of want to see what's the difference. And maybe this is a good try because we're going to see, um, a Gallant Mon. And see how much damage on Michael Mon. Ooh, I got to put up my resistance. Now let's go. Let's put up more defense. And let's see. This is how much damage it's going to do. Yep. It, it's it's so much defense. Uh, just Truvimon gives you that 25% um, defense to your calm allies. And then, you know, Dynasmon gives you that power resistance. So I recommend, you know, going with that. Um, activating your resistances first. Especially when you're going against a stronger stronger um what is it called omega mon you know more, more pumped up one um the thing is that i think the tenacious digimon is your weak point um if you use this team if you guys can um i think later on the changes i will make to the team is who knows i might even take out uh, grand quagamon and put imperial mon paladin mode well, i'm thinking like a day that it's not calm week i do not want to use all fours so i could still potentially use this team throughout all the other weeks just add paladin mode instead of um all force because all force has uh lowers your opponent's tech resistance 
Uh, and I think um, Paladin does the exact same thing. So it could supplement each other, and then it'll be already. You all have a tanky team for any week ready for any time. That's what I'm kind of preparing my second account for. Um, and see how it goes. See if it actually works. All right. Hope you guys liked the video. Remember to subscribe, uh, like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.